Man, my um, my friend has that that singlet. Did he get it in Asia? Nah, maybe actually. He is from Asia. He's from Asia. He's from an He's Asia. from the entire Asia <laughs> He's continent. Hundred percent, man. Shit. Like if you look up Asia, he's the first that comes up. Damn, son. <laughs> he must be popular. Nah, he's yeah, his dick is. It's magic. It's random. It's a magical penis. It's random. Okay. Mine isn't. Uh, I mean, mine probably has some magical properties, but it's not a hundred percent magic. It's only like, it's like the 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 bigger it gets, the more magical it gets, but not like a lot of magic. Just like enough magic to be. Of a magical property. What up, y'all? We jungle beats. Let's try these plugs to the, the magicalest penis in the country. Absolutely, good one. We're gonna list the albums we are most anticipating for 2019 this year. Hunted. He's the, uh, Alexander Man here. Has done a lot of preparation, haven't you? You can see his months list. and months and months of forgetting to do this shit. Uh, I myself have a short list. My name is Alexander Sandalis. I'm Rosie Lee. And the first one I want to mention is we reviewed a bit of his music back in Radio Days, Danny Brown. Yeah, true. Trust the Exhibition, which was 2016, 2017, actually, sorry. Quite a while though, right? Yeah. Uh, well, two years is normally what, al- what artists wait in between album periods. Unless you're a bigger a artist. Drake or we, Kanye, yeah. We can wait longer. Or if you're an artist that's known to drop every year, like Death Grips. Or Future. <laughs> nah, that's every month. Mask off. Anyway, so I yeah. think Danny Brown is one of the most unique artists out there. Uh, he, he's he's voice, he's tonality, he's he's eclectic production. I look forward to the craziness that comes. Yeah, I think that it's wise to not to expect anything of him. Like he is one of the only artists that I know of in hip hop genre that can sound good on any genre whatsoever, any sort of beat, any sort of whatever. Like he proved that in a choice exhibition. He's proved that in his past work, like XXX. And um, now that he's on his um, new label, they're giving him the creative freedom to do whatever the fuck he wants. Compared to like when he was with his old label with albums like Old, which was still good, but they were like, you know, they hinted what he could make. You got one? Yeah, man. Kendrick Lamar. Oh, shit. Damn. That was 2017. Uh, A lot of people know that Damn wasn't a huge album for me. I still believe it's one of his best, if not his best, storytelling albums. Because not only could it be played from back to front, but front to back. And still have a lot of meaning to it. But like tracks like Love, God, XXX, never fucked with them. Didn't, didn't, never hit home. I mean, the, the, I, with time, with time, I kind of saw why it was there and how that kind of melted with it, but it just didn't mesh with me. But I, I'm really hoping that he drops something completely different again because that's one thing that Kendrick's done every album. Absolutely. Every album. That's what you, makes you look forward to an artist like Kendrick. You're like, what type of creative ensemble is he going to give us this time that's going to rock the world? Mm. I reckon we should stay on this TDE train because TDE has a lot of artists that's going to be dropping this oh, year. Oh, absolutely. And our schoolboy Q has already mentioned that he'll be dropping very, very soon. Oh, is that right? Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. I he mean, tweeted. Oh, he tweeted? He tweeted, boy. Oh, he tweeted? Because, tweet, tweet. Because <laughs> he was meant to drop last year, but obviously with the death of Mac Miller, him and, him and Mac and even were, Absol were really, really close. So uh, I'm expecting he had to probably add some, definitely some closure with that on the album. So it'll be, it'll be, I reckon I'm expecting not only some bangers as we expect from Schoolboy Q, but some uh, real deep cuts on there as well. Uh, and l- let's put the other artists in there who could, we could say similar things about Absol and Isaiah Rashad. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, I'm, we're really... They're my top two albums of 2016. So Seven, I'm expecting right. some greatness this year and for them to continue the momentum of their creativity. Yeah. Even Scissor. Uh, yeah, even this is up. Pretty, I much, pretty much everyone should drop except for J-Rock. Because right. he was the only artist from TD that dropped last year. Absolutely, and they got the new signee. Oh, reason. Reason. Yeah. Did you literally think of that before, as I was saying it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's hilarious. Man, what a wave. We're on point, man. But yeah, TDE, they're going to have a huge year. I think last year they were just, you know, having after because the year before that was massive for them. But yeah, fuck yeah, I'm excited for that shit. What else you got, boy? Well, let's talk about one of the biggest artists of our generation, Kanye West, Yandi. True. Now, he was going to release this, obviously, last year, but mm-hmm. he says he's going to do a lot of things. I, don't, <laughs> I think the name will probably change, I expect. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course it will. But I have seen some little snippets here and there of him working and working with choirs and, and you know, just playing around and doing his thing. And, uh, of course, look forward to whatever... Cr- creative greatness that could potentially be after yay 
Here's one that I think will be interesting. It's one that people have always told us to uh, constantly review. We reviewed a track of theirs and I checked out a few more tracks, mate. Billie Eilish. Mm. She'll, yeah, be dropping, be on that. she'll be dropping an album this year uh -huh. and you know, I, I really liked what she's offered so far, and especially if someone as young as her with as that much talent and personality that bleeds through her music, I'm expecting not necessarily something special, but something that will show what she's probably going to be in the next few years. Like a... Like a... Kind of like what Georgia Smith did with the album. A glimmer you know? at her potential. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that's what happens. Like when, like when, you know, when Jane Smith released like Sire, like people yeah. were just like people shat in that. But you got to remember that like this this man's still a kid. This man's still a kid. <laughs> <laughs> this man's a big kid. Exactly. Like Jane Smith is only just tapping into his potential. <laughs> you know. God oh, bless. So yeah, I'm, I'm fucking looking forward to that. But well, what about Freddie Gibbs Pinata Two Ooh. with Madlib? I think it's called Bandana, but. Either way, well, that's, that's what the tweet or what it's going to be bad. called. Sorry, sorry. I mean, it could be called Pinata. Whatever too. it is. The next project. Did you did you go and listen to that yet? No, we, I'm telling you, we got to do that's, the yeah, classic yeah, yeah. reviews. So that's one thing we want to start this year, classic reviews. And we've already we've already stated that Pinata will be the first one we do. Here you go, it's coming. It's coming. It, we're so close to just blowing our load all over your mum. Man, sorry if you ain't, sorry if she ain't here. We'll just have to find her Why do you got to make it dark, bro? I don't know, man. We'll find her grave. We'll make sure she gets a bit of our, bit of Whoa, our seed. Oh, fucking... Man, put our seed in there. Grow some nice flowers out of that you know, grave. You know, if enough people can flag a, flag a video as inappropriate, that it can get taken down. And then if people do that enough, you can get a channel taken down. <laughs> no, if, if we had enough people who just fucking wanted to see us lose. Do you reckon you're excited for his album? See, this man was not listening at all to what the fuck I was just saying. <laughs> because I found something better. Little baby. <laughs> I can't, with 41, is this the 41 most worst artists of all time? No, it's 41 most anticipated album of this guy's list. Okay, sorry. All right, not, but, but not, well, not really. Little Baby, but Death Grips. Definitely looking forward to Death Grips. Because they drop every year. Yeah, and it's cool because every time we, we do their music, we're like, we don't necessarily fall in love, but because we've reviewed all their stuff, we can just keep seeing the growth and what direction they're heading in. And I, I actually really fucked with their last album. I it's thought like, it was really dope. How can they challenge us once again as a listener, as mm -hmm. a person? What experience can they take us on? I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, man. Childish Gambino. Yeah. You would think after all the momentum he built last year, we would have got a project. I thought as well, but then I also remember that Childish Gambino is a man of many talents. He had season two with Atlanta that did really well. He, I assume, was writing and also doing a lot of other things behind he's the scenes. He's on a tour as well. His family as well. Like He's got, like, what, a kid? I think so, yeah, he's he got, does. Like, one, Doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's, you know, he's yeah. got... He's always sort of been really smart with um, his private life, keeping out the spotlight. Like, when, when the fuck do you ever hear about shit like that? Yeah, not really. So we I don't even know if he has a kid. Like. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that when he dropped this America, I think he intended it for it to be single. I don't think he intended to follow up. I don't think he intended it to be as big as it fucking got. Mm. And uh, ended up being one of the biggest singles, if not the biggest single of last year. That seems like something you create out of emotion and passion and, and yeah. just a spare of the moment. Like, even though Drake released Scorpion, he could have left... I was listening, by the way. He could have, um, <laughs> he could have left um, God's Plan by itself, and that could have been his year. Did you see the difference with the top tracks listened overall in Spotify in the world? No, I haven't seen that list. God's Plan was something like eighty, like eight hundred million, eighty million, or something, whatever. But pretty much the next track was like three hundred million off. Really? Yep. So all I don't. That, so those, he, those he numbers like double, are probably wrong. Double, double to more triple. than doubled, and all the and all the next tracks were just like around the same, and there was another two Drake tracks in there. Man, Drake is a powerhouse. God's no, plan I, was huge. And now that we're talking about Drake, I wouldn't be surprised if he dropped an album, but we, I don't need one, and I'm not particularly anticipating one. No, I don't think... I don't need a Drake album. I'm happy to have a break. <laughs> mm. But what about the one of the best underground hip-hop groups, hip-hop trios in music? Andrew Reserve. Oh, yeah, true. Now, we know they're working on an album, mm -hmm. and we know they've signed to a new record label. Yeah. So I'm, I cannot wait for them to drop their new project and, and really make a stamp and build some momentum in the industry. Yeah, because the EP they dropped last year had a few different sounds to it. Because it had like that sort of, remember that track that was the drip? So it was yep. a banger, but then they also had like the more slower one, which they did with the video clip with the snow. Yep. So there's a lot of different ways they can go with this one. Because Floss was fucking mental. And what's good here, I'm the hardest rapper in my city. If you don't know who they are, please look them up. Yeah, there's check out. Three albums. It's just this guy's list is fucking trash. Well, I mean, I'm hoping J. Cole drops this year. Because at the end of KOD, he said the fallout. Remember I said intro to the fallout? Okay. And we know that he's releasing his album with Dreamville this year, Revenge of the Dreamers 2. Is that a Dreamville, Dreamville, Dreamville collab? One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because 
his first Revenge of the Dreamers was two years ago, but he didn't have JID then. I don't think Earth Gang were with him then, but now that he has Earth Gang, JID, uh, who else is on their label? Bass is doing really good. I'm pretty sure Omen is still on his label, which is pretty dope. Uh, and it's got uh, Coz. Coz is on there. Coz dropped a pretty decent album last year, so I'm hoping that this is like an album to really step up J, J. Cole's label because people mostly look at his label and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, they're really good rappers, but they're more lyrical. Like, I don't want to hit that for any other things. So I'm hoping that he comes with what he, what, what he did last year. Still come through with consciousness, but also catchiness that can appeal to the youth. I think that's what you, well said, man. Well said. I think you linked mm. it to the last album, and that's, that makes sense. And you, you brought up another one, actually, Earth Gang. Earth Gang. Because I know Up, you fucked with, and that track is unreleased yet. Unreleased, but it's apparently on their album, mm-hmm. and the album already has a title, apparently, in the description of the video. Really? If you look in the description of the, um, the Colors video, you'll see it. However, uh. we haven't heard anything, and I cannot wait <laughs> to hear what's going to come, because I think it could be one of the best albums of the year. Oh, yeah, because that track was amazing. I'm the same as you, man. I go back to that probably once every, maybe every week or two weeks, because I'll just see it randomly, and if I see yeah, it there, the I can't not click. Absolutely. I can't not click. I'm it is so amazing, over. man. Uh, uh, just another day. And both the verse are fire. Like, obviously, like, the first verse from Danny is, like, crazy. But I still reckon that the next verse is just as fire. And it's there's a lot a of subtle contrast. lines. It is. They work so fucking well together. And their voices are so similar, yet so different, that they just meld amazingly. Like, it's hard to find a duo like that, man. You know what I had on my list? It's an album we're about to do. James Blake. James Blake. I put James Blake on my list, because, of course, I'm anticipating it after yeah, his last album. Number couple- one album in 2016? Yeah, absolutely. 17. Fuck! Sorry, I'd agreed. I didn't even... Is it 16? Bad. I don't know. No, I think it was 16. Yeah, okay. maybe I haven't... It was 16. It was definitely 16. She was 16? <laughs> that was dramatic. Uh, so we're about to review that right now. And of course, I'm looking forward to, to that. Uh, Chance the Rapper. He hasn't released an album in nearly four years. What do you mean, an album? He hasn't. Not since Coloring Book, I believe, was like four years ago. Now. Coloring Book was an album, was it? Mixtape album, I look at them as the same thing, man. The only difference between a mixtape and an album is that a mixtape you can't profit off, so that's why you can release samples. He didn't profit off, right? He, correct? Is that he didn't profit off the? No, he anything? didn't. Because he sold it for, he, for free. It was out. Yeah, because he didn't clear samples. So yeah, but the thing is with those things is you can't. Uh, what's the word? You can't um, perform them live, but he obviously does. That's the thing with mixtapes, man. Like if you're a small artist, you can get away with it. But if you're a bigger artist, like if you've used someone's sample without clearing that sample to perform it live, that's stealing their content. Okay. I think um, the, the rule is like, if music is over 80 years old or something, then you can use it. Like, like say every year, there's a, there's, a new, there's, a, the year, there's a new year of music that you can clear samples from without getting proof. That's very handy. Yeah, so basically that's what happens. A lot, of, a lot of big producers will do that. They'll look at the year that has been clear that they don't need to clear anymore and they just grab all that music and sample the shit out of it because you can do so. Um, but I'm, I don't know. I didn't like Coloring Book. I wasn't a fan. Acid Rap's still one of my favorite hip hop albums to this day. 10 Day, I still bang on low. And I really think, despite not liking the album and not liking a lot of the singles that he's done, he is doing so much for the community of his hometown and also for hip hop. Uh, I think that him just as a person, uh, it's just as important as being an artist. So, but I'm still excited to see what he does because he's, he's fucking huge right now. Well said. He's huge. And to round off my list, I'm going to give you, you already said Childish, that was on my list. Yeah. Run the Jewels, Run the Jewels 4? I don't know. But we're oh, talking man. about probably... The best, one of the best hip hop duos in the, in the world. Mm-hmm. I want to, see, I want that. I really, the, one of our favorite views is the Run the Jewels three reaction, and I can't wait to see that album, feel that album. I got one more for you, please. Frank Ocean, Blonde was probably three years ago now, or two years ago. Definitely, well, definitely can't be. No way, three. Okay, probably two years, but. Obviously, Frank Ocean has been known to take a while with releasing in between music, but maybe he'll release one now because he released a few singles last year. Remember? He did. A deep old size like Chanel. Biking. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. We'll be talking about one of the most revered but quiet, subtle, introverted ra- artists. It's like he's, a, he's an incredible, incredible artist. Mm-hmm. Like he, like yeah, fuck yeah. Give me some of that, Frank. <laughs> yeah. I mean. If I prepared, I'd probably have another 50 albums. But you know what? This is a shorter video for you, so I'll be thankful. Uh, you got any more? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. He's about to round out the fucking video. You know what? Just, just, just fuck I got two more. Cause you, you, ba- said, you said it was the last one before. Rounding out the list, I said. Banks is one of them. Banks is an alternative um, R&B artist, similar kind of genre to Frank. 
Very looking forward to her. I know she's making music and uh, Brockhampton, I think, is going to release because they've done every year so far. So I anticipate that. You know what I predict? What do you predict? I predict Amir Van coming back. Oh, yeah, maybe. I'm, who knows? I, I predict it. Have you seen anything on your social media? Nope. How interesting. I just reckon I've got a feeling. It would be I'm interesting. Just, it's just... I just feel like I've watched videos of them together, living together for that whole time they made those first three albums. And just their friendships and connections are so, so tight knit. I feel like them, like them living through that and that's what got them to where they are without, without him. Like obviously it fucked up, but I reckon what they've done is they've been like, they've just put him in the fucking, they put him in the doghouse, they put him in the timeout zone, you know? I think the world has as well, the music industry For sure. Has. But I, I, I personally believe that he's a good person. How? Why? How do you know? I don't know. It's just like an instinct? It's just, it's just an instinct, man. It's just a thing I got. Like, just the way that he responded and just the way that his friends have responded and Brock Hampton responded, like, I just, I just feel like that they'll forgive him and they'll welcome him back. Being like, look, man, you seem like you're doing your best on your path back. You'll always be a part of what us. What a turn of events that would be. I predict it. Happens. And if it does happen, fucking instinct, motherfuckers. If it doesn't, then I'm a fucking piece of shit. Um, Loyal Kana, for me, another one. Uh, he dropped my favorite album two years ago once again as well. So, fuck yeah. Like, that album was massive for me. And the last one for me is one of our favorite unknown artists of ever, Greg Newman. Oh! Tell him about Greg Newman, man. Man, give me that juice. Forecast was a banger. Then there was, uh, was it, was it Peak? Peak was fucking strong. How about all his singles, bro? Yeah, all all the, singles. the motherfucking singles. Showing how diverse he is. His voice is powerful. He can hit so many different tempos and tones. Um, I'm hyped to see what he fucking does. We're very, we're very blessed to be with an artist like him on our, to, to check out before they blow, man. And he gone blow. Oh. That's it, man. Let us know what albums you're anticipating for 2019. What are ones we missed? What are ones that you like we got to check out? Yeah, Hunter, we're going to miss a lot of shit, but you know, that's just how we do. We back here. We Jungle Beats. 2019, baby. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's eat that cheese. Let's get that cheddar. Let's smoke that weed. Let's... I do. Make that better. <laughs> there, was, there was a chick that I was talking to, and she, she was, I was like, what's your name? And she was like, yo, it's Smoke Weeder. Oh, man, it's not lined up, though, the fucking in between the line. I feel like we got to quickly adjust. Line it up, bro. Line it up. Line it up. Oh, you mean man. the whole couch? Fuck it, I'm gonna fuck. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Man, it's just that one person, you know? Well, actually, quite a few people actually noticed. It, it did. It did? That was not the right grammatical response. <laughs> it's like saying, hey, man, I went to the pizza place the other day and got a pizza, and I'm just like, yeah, man, like, I'm cool with that, but you? Like, it's just not a correct answer to that question. That's right. We all dropped out of high school.